All right. L-D-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, The Coach, your live, live, live on The Coach's Show, The Coach's Show Live. Okay, guys. Cain Velasquez is set uh, for an arraignment or a hearing in front of a judge at 4.30 p.m. Uh, PT time, Pacific time. Uh, guys, this whole thing, this whole case, this whole ordeal is, is sick. And, you know, there are people trying to, you know, like justify why Cain should be arrested. Well, he shot into a car full of innocent people. Here's the thing, man. And y'all know how I think about people that hurt children. You don't try to rehabilitate these people. You put them down, okay? You put them down, and you don't give it a second thought, okay? You put them down because, to me, in my opinion, I, I don't think that you can rehabilitate a person that's got inside of them to go hurt kids. So it, it's just one of them things. You put them down. Um I think of it is people are saying, well, what about the people in the car? What about people in the car? Okay. So the people who, who was riding with this guy that did something to his daughter or one of his family members, you know, you know what he is. You know what this dude is. Why are you rocking with him? Why are you rolling with him? Okay, that's my thought to that when people tell me, well, Kane shouldn't have showed him there were innocent people. He shouldn't have did it. Well, look, you rolling with this dude. You rolling with him. Okay, you a point blank rolling with this guy. And, no, and please don't tell me you riding in a car with this guy who been all over the news. Okay, who been in headlines for years about molesting kids and you don't know what he capable of? Psh. I would be caught dead with a little, whoa. Wait a minute, you touch kids? Nah, bro. We'll see. Now, if the people, like, like they physically didn't know that he was a child molester, then okay, okay, then we'll say, hey, you know, okay, look. Kane didn't kill nobody. You know, Kane didn't kill nobody. He didn't mean to. He didn't know that the people didn't know that he was a molester. Okay, we, we, we go that route. But I find it hard to believe if, if, the, if the people in the car were his family members. Psh, come on, man, please. Free this man now. Free this man now. This man did what anybody would have done in the situation. See, people, they'll go to jail for their kids, man. They'll go to jail for their kids. And you always hear that thing, you always, you always hear that saying where, you know, somebody say, man, I'll go to jail. <laughs> when Cain Velasquez was about that life. Isn't it funny, man, that, uh, what's that brother name? That politician, man. It was a brother, man. He finna do, like, hard time because he was taking his own money, right? And he was giving his money. And I guess for a lieutenant governor, you're not supposed to, like, give your own money. So what he was doing was he was giving the money of the people. And they were giving the money in his name. Or, oh, no, I'm sorry. He was giving the money to other people to donate on his behalf without using his name. You know this brother finna do about 10 years in jail for that? This, this, this lieutenant governor, he got arrested first. And he's about to do 10 years. And isn't in in it amazing that a child predator man can get less time than that? And they can get off with it in five years. Within five years, uh, just, just for good behavior. Like, the country, man, that we live in is backwards. Or you got these rich businessmen. You know, they can go over to other countries and third world countries where the laws are not stable, where the police actually will help your, your will help your petty authority. You can go over there. You can go over there and go get you an underage kid. Nothing happens. But, you know, the thing of it is, though, when these people are found out in America, guess what? <laughs> nothing happens. These people that can't do what they want over here go somewhere else. Don't nothing happen to those people. But a guy just giving some money illegally. Now, he giving his own money, money he don't work for. Giving that money, and it's supposed to be illegal. This dude finna do some time for that. I'm like, man, what, what, what the hell is going on? Then the guy who they know openly molests kids, okay? They know that's in him. They know that he's done this multiple, multiple times. They know this. Can't get around it. They know this guy hurt kids, okay? They get it. This guy got bail. Cain Velasquez was denied bail. Guys, this, this, it can't get more stupid. So Cain, he facing 20 years. Okay, if convicted and if he got the wrong judge in front of him, Cain Velasquez could do 20 years. Now, I don't think that they're going to give him the whole 20 years. I don't think they're going to do that because he didn't kill anybody. Yeah, they can call it an attempted murder. But there were several people in the vehicle, okay? I don't think they're going to give him the whole 20 years. I don't think they'll do that. But I do think they're going to give him something. I, I don't know. I mean, through my experience, man, through my experience with this kind of stuff, 
I've seen dudes get anywhere from five years to 10 years, or I've seen dudes get anywhere from like five years probation, man, three years probation. And then they got to do like this community service, man. They got to go and talk to people and take your anger management. That's if you got a good judge. Now, if you got one of them judges that's just, you know, a, 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 an asshole, <sighs> Kane might do some time for this, man. And it's just not right, man. It's not right, man, that these people can break the law, these molesters, bro. And I'm talking about molesters. I'm talking about people that hurt you. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about these guys in particular. It's funny how these guys, they can go around and do this stuff, man. They can go online and try to recruit these kids. They can go to other countries to try to recruit these kids. They can do everything in their power to try to get them an underage minor, okay, to, to fulfill their fantasies with. They can do all this stuff. And these people get right back out. And I feel bad for these people, man, that go on these little stings, these predator stings. And then when these people get arrested, because the one guy on YouTube, I forgot his name, man. He did it. He was doing a sting and he caught somebody, man. He caught him, caught the guy red handed, turned him over to the police. And what, two days later, man, the guy was back out of jail. He was back out of jail. And guess what he was doing? He was doing the exact same thing. He was trying to meet underage girls. Hey, man, I almost am tired of the laws in this country, man, because if you're a criminal, Criminals understand the law. They know how to have the law work for them. And that's what this, this that's what the guy who came tried to kill, that's what this guy's doing. He's using the law. And then you know what he's gonna do then? He's gonna go to court. When he, when it's his time to go to court, he probably gonna plead, you know, a, a mental insanity. He's gonna try to do an insanity plea. I'm telling you, man, that's what dudes do. When the odds stacked against them, when they done done some stuff they know they're finna go to jail for, <laughs> dude finna plead mental insanity. And he gonna do that, man, because even if he have to go to jail, they're not gonna put him with the rest of the population. They ain't gonna put him in gym pop. They ain't gonna put him in there. Okay, that, that's what's gonna happen. They, he don't wanna go to gym pop. He know he gonna do some time, but he don't wanna go to gym pop. Cause they put them people in gym pop, man, is messing with these kids, man. Some of them prisons, man, they just they don't like that, man. And some of them prisons, man, they, they make you a target. But yeah, man, I, I feel bad for this brother Kane, man. And I call Kane my brother, man, cause Kane, Kane is a man's man, okay? Kane Velasquez is a man's man, and he's doing what a man would do. And, you know, I appreciate what Kane Velasquez is doing, man. I appreciate this. I appreciate him standing up, man. Because if it was my daughter, man, I'd do the same thing. I'd do the exact same thing, man. I mean, I, no, man, no, no. But it's how to tell you, man. See, and the one person who was saying, man, I dare you. Find somebody in Congress who's, 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 who's for uh, uh, pedophilia. And it's like, you know, people are so stupid. People are so stupid. All you got to do is research. And you can see what states where they have politicians who are very easy on people um, who commit child pedi uh, pedophilia. They're very easy on those people. They're, they're, they're not hard on them. They don't do hard time. Just look up the politicians and then you research the politicians in that area. And then you can you can get their views on different stances. It's listed. But people are too dumb to do the research. See, they'd rather come to you and argue with you and get mad. Like, dude, you mad? And I'm talking, and you know I'm talking to. You upset? Because I told you that there are some politicians who are pro-pedophilia, that, that these people, they're trying to lower the legal age limit. You, I mean, you mad by this? Stupid, stupid. But I tell you what, man, I'm hoping and praying that they free this dude. I'm hoping and praying they free this dude and get this dude up out of jail so he can go be with his family.